Hey guys, King of Charm Manders here. Today I'll be your judge, your jury, and your analyst. And today I bring to you the Black Diablo's Chaos Shatterer review, which is the hammer and its secret ability works. All right, so here's the Black Diablo's Chaos Shatterer forge requirements. The materials you need to craft this weapon are six Black Diablo's fangs, which are rarity one, two Black Diablo's ridges, which are rarity three, two Black Diablo's pine shells, which are rarity four, and 10 monster bones, medium sized rarity two. You also need 1500 Zenny. And here's the Black Diablo's hammer stats. Chaos Shatterer has no name or model grade change past grade five, meaning there's no, once you upgrade it, it just stays the Chaos Shatterer. Its base attack is 576, its affinity is minus 30%, and its element is non-elemental. Its special attack is the spinning bludgeon. This utilizes the rotational force of the hammer to deliver a shattering blow, and the power is 100% or more depending on the level. And just as an extra note, its equipment skill at grade level 8, once you get to grade level 8, is going to be Part Breaker, which increases part damage accumulated on breakable parts by 5% or more depending on the level. And here's my armor loadout. My stats are my attack is at 636 and my defense is at 375. I'm using the Rathalos Helm, grade 1, the Leather Body, grade 5, Kadachi Arms, grade 4, Lumu Waist, grade 1, and Kadachi Legs, grade 2. My equipment skills are Attack Boost Level 3, Artful Dodger Level 2, Fire Resistance Level 1, Evade Extender Level 1, and Divide Blessing at Level 1. The build purpose is to maximize damage output along with defensive equipment skills to mitigate damage if I get hit. Don't really need Artful Dodger at Level 2, but I find since, I'm re since I haven't practiced my hammer a lot, I would like it to have my perfect dodge evade extended quite a bit and it actually worked a bit a lot for me when I tested the hammer. And now our first victim of getting Hulk smashed is the four star Kulu Yaku. Our, it's, I know it's called Kulu Yaku, okay? I just say this on purpose because I talk really fast. So when I first started playing Monster World 3 Ultimate, I was just like said, screw it. You know, it doesn't matter. Screw my pronunciation. I'm going to do it wrong anyway so that people in the comments correct me and I get more interaction. Haha, -ha, there you go. And I haven't practiced with Hammer, so it's a good trial run for me. And I love the special drop ability to Black Diablo's weapons. A rarity 3 and rarity 2 material off the bat. It was, um, I, lo I love it. And next, we're fighting the 6 star variation of Kuluyaku. And maybe it was a bad idea to use a weapon I'm not used to on a 6 star. I haven't practiced much with the hammer. But as you see here, I'm doing a little well. But then I had to use a potion eventually. I should probably start using my special attack more often too. There's the long pauses in between using the hammer, so you have to make sure that you give yourself plenty of room to evade, which is more so like an extra attack or like a second before. So as you see, I use my special attack and I'm able to take out the Kuluyaku before the timer runs out. Luckily, it was worth it because I got a rarity 4 drop and Zenny and Hunter rank points at 100. And we're taking on a 5-star Rathian next. I really like the damage the Chaos Shatter can dish out. Hammers are known for huge damage outputs any in general, but considering you have that minus 30 affinity and Divine Blessing just saved my bacon right there, it's still really freaking good. And with, like I mentioned, with the special ability drop, it's just, it, for drops, it's just it's just way too good. If you're not using an elemental one and you don't need it to finish, if you can use either the bow or the Chaos Shatter, it's definitely something worth using. I got to brush up on my hammer skills a lot for this battle, and luckily I was even able, well not luckily because we know the special ability of the hammer, and I get a rarity 3 drop. Holy crud. And now we're taking on the 5 star Legiana. This battle sucked. I forgot how fast Leggy is, so hammer is definitely a hard weapon to use against it. You have to give yourself a little extra room to dodge. And I'm just using my potions anyways because I don't want to waste time. Are my first aid meds. I end up using my potions on this day. And fighting poor connection visibility too. So I was just not I was like I was just not having it. Because of that because of that disconnect, I wasn't able to dodge that. And I was just like, I got that perfect evade, so it was totally worth it. But I started to get used to timing in the second half of the battle. But like I mentioned, you know, Legiana, it is fast, and I can't wait to make a guide on it so that people understand that it's just really fast. And I just got rarity one drops, but that's okay. Now we got easy mode. We got four star Palumu. Pretty easy fight, slawless battle. Well, then again, I used to have trouble with four stars, but no more. You literally just smash your way to victory with this. And I'm just not, it wasn't even worth the effort. I'm just like, wow, 
You know what? This was totally... You know what? This was super easy. Yep, there was once upon a time one four stars I struggled with. Only, fortunately, I only got rarity one drops again, but again, it's all good. And now we got the four star Anjanoth, and I remember when I used to struggle against this thing. I started to get stunned in timing on the hammer down, so I was like, oh, okay. This wasn't as bad as I thought. Maybe I'll just start Hulk smashing every single one of these T-Rex dinosaurs when next time around. But, luckily, this was my last one for the day, and I was like, oh, thankful because I wanted to go home and make this video and get some rest because I got a rarity two and a rarity four from the broken part and I was ready to make this video because I did a lot of killing today. And here's today's data collection for the Black Diablo secret weapons ability. This includes the bow and the hammer that I used today so I just combined them all and I have recorded 50 total kills for this day. I think 50 is good enough. You've, I can do more but oh my gosh 50 is good. 36 monster kills were rarity to or higher, so whenever I killed a monster and I hunted it down, it dropped, 36 of them dropped rarity to materials or higher. And only 14 monster kills were all rarity ones across the board, which means all the monster dropped were rarity ones. So if we do the math, 36 divided by 50 times 100 equals 72% were rarity to drops or higher. This secret ability is insane. I don't know if I can ever go back to using elemental weapons unless I have to. I don't like it. It's clear as day. Like I've tested for two days and with 80 kills under the beat the belt, it is pretty clear that Black Diablos weapons have a secret ability, both the hammer and the bow that enable you to actually get increased rarity drop rates when you use them to hunt and kill monsters. It's just clear as day. I've been on Reddit, I've seen other people's videos, it is just, there's just too much data that supports it. Hopefully these weapons do come back soon or the future element, the future event monsters have this type of capability or, in a, or, some, or like a similar special ability or something like that or an item comes out to where you can get more rarity drops. Because unless you grind it super hard like me and you decided to kill Black Diablos like no tomorrow, there is no way you could build one of these weapons and take advantage of its special ability. And here's some closing notes. The Black Diablos weapons still do a lot of base damage and good clears with great supporting buildups. My setup allowed me to do really well despite the minus 30% affinity nerf. Again, affinity works with specific formula. However, it's kind of dumb because how the negative, the minus 30% chance of doing 25% damage, if it never procs, then that formula doesn't work to begin with. It's just a whole bunch of nonsense and complication. Just kill the dang monster, all right? And don't worry about it. Nerf attacks show a purple color to indicate the affinity nerf and the secret ability of increasing rarity drop rates work with both the Gale Bender, which is the bow, and the Chaos Shatter, which is the hammer. So it doesn't matter if you use one or the other, it is going to go ahead and increase your rarity drop rates. Dram not dramatic, like it's very noticeable. It could be dramatically, but you still, it's really good. And here are some closing notes. I have enough materials to forge one piece of Black Diablos armor, so I'll be testing Ethereum with that piece of armor thanks to some of that commented on my bow review video. After I create that video, I'm going to take a day break to work on some monster guys that were requested and do some more grinding. I really want to do a lot more grinding. I didn't start at early access like some like, I, it looks like most creators that are creating content nowadays, most of them have early access. I think that's super unfair, but you know, it's what it is. That's the game. So I'm proud to be a September 14th player. So I'm gonna do more grinding. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and work on some more moss guys. I know Legiana, also Rathalos, as well as Rath I mean, pff, Rathalos and Rathian. See what I mean when I say it really fast? I just give up and say what it is because, yeah. But feel free to correct me on the comments again. No, seriously, it helps the YouTube algorithm. Al it helps with the YouTube algorithm. So I really do appreciate it. And. Again, I really do appreciate y'all that support my comment. Do me a huge favor, please like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Just like when I pronounce monsters' names wrong, so you can correct me again. Just because I do it so frequently because I say the name so fast like I keep saying. And I will see y'all on the next one.